attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. Hey guys, your boy Black Lightning 4547. I present to you another unboxing video. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's get, let's just get right into it, man. Just, let's not even waste any time. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I got another device right here. And, <clears throat> yeah. All right, I ripped the envelope open. Let's see what's inside. So, looks like we just got a little box. So, let's go ahead and open it up from the bottom side. Well, oh, I guess it's this side. All right. Got a bunch of popcorn, and then we got the device right here. So, let's move all this stuff out the way and see what it is. That's about it. So, here's the device, and I'll flip it over. That's right. So, uh, we got a Simplex 2901. 9331 okay so this is actually a four inch bell vibrating bell at that as you can see right there 2901 9331 so there's two other models of this of the 93 series or 9300 series you got the 9331 which is four inches then you got a 9332, which is 6 inches, and then a 9333 is a 10-inch bell. Uh, all vibrating, and they're all DC. Okay? And so, we got the 4-inch variant. As you can see, it pulls 110 amps, uh, milliamps, excuse me, uh, a.k.a. 0.11 amps. And then volts is 21 to 30 volts of DC, as you can see right there, as a herds. Um, there is no herds cause, uh, for DC, because DC doesn't alternate like uh, AC does. Um, so that's why um, you find DC in the herds instead of just like a number, if this were to be AC. <clears throat> and so... As you can see, it's an audible signaling appliance for general signaling. Um, oh, it even says non-fire alarm use, but it is red, so you can possibly use it for fire alarm use. Although, it probably doesn't reach the... Yeah, it looks like at 10 feet, it's about 82 decibels. So, I mean, doesn't... Doesn't seem loud. I guess I'll have a judgment of that when I test it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you got your terminals right here, uh, positive and negative. You got two of each for your inputs and your outputs uh, to make it easier. Not trying to fit everything under one terminal. So yeah, then as you can see right there, you can see a bit of it. Um, there's the striker. Um, some call it basically a plunger, but I mean, I call it a striker, same difference. And um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take off this gong um, just by removing this nut right here. All right, uh, took the gong off, as you can see, I'm just held by this nut in a washer. Um, and then basically, this is just the mechanism right here. Um, this is, like I said, used in a lot of. Uh, you know, bells basically. Um, so you got the plunger right there, and I mean, it's not really anything much to that side. Um, being four inches, you can probably still have access to your mounting holes. Yeah, you do have still have access to your mounting holes. Um, so you don't really need to take the gong off in order to mount it, but. Uh, if it was like a six inch or a ten inch, yes, you would definitely need to take the gong off to 
uh, mounted onto the uh, wall. Speaking about mounting, of course, uh, your only options are basically uh, double gang, 4x4, four four, um, square box. Um, let's take this apart and so I can uh, show you guys a little bit more of the inner workings. Alright, so here's the mechanism. Basically, it looks pretty identical. If not, basically the same as the Paratonic CDC uh, 24 Vibrings Chime, uh, the bronze one. And um, so, yeah, like I said, um, this is your coil right there. And like I said, you have your striker with a uh, spring right there. And then right here, you have your switching on and off circuit. So basically, this is how... So, basically the main difference... Uh, between single stroke and vibrating is it's literally the same thing the only difference is the vibrating has the switching circuit and the single stroke doesn't and so basically think of the single stroke basically being a vibrating circuit just without the switching circuit so this is basically because right here that's how you're getting your um your vibrating motion because every time it goes down it basically cuts the circuit but every time it comes back up it basically uh connects the um or completes the circuit so basically it does that like a thousand i mean it's probably not accurate but i it, it just let's just say it does it a lot within a second um not sure the quite um hers number or whatever but it, it it basically does it a lot within a second um and then obviously right here you just got a diode that makes it polarized meaning that you can only um hook it one way it doesn't flow the other way um that's what that diode and that's like i said that's how devices are supervised because panels are checking for that diode and they don't have that diode they're gonna throw a fit so um and then there's a a capacitor right there. Um, you know, that's uh, the coin type style capacitor. Um, there is another type, obviously, the electrolytic capacitors that comes in the cylinder. Uh, but, yeah, that's a little capacitor as well. And, um, yeah, so like I said, that's basically how the bell works. Um, you know, like I said, it's a very simple circuit. Um but it does function as intended. Um, just screw those down real quick. And <clears throat> it's back together just like that. So, yeah, other than that, I mean, there's really not much to it. So, um, yeah, it's like I said, it's pretty interesting. Uh, this is probably the, the smallest bell that I have in my collection. Uh, minus the vibrating chimes because obviously they just have a middle little... Uh, bar at the bottom but as far as bells go yeah this is definitely the smallest circumference bell of them all a matter of fact it might be the smallest bell in general um in in, in actual use is you know other than like maybe low uh doorbells maybe other than that but i mean far alarm wise or general signaling wise um, yeah, this is, it's a pretty small bell, like I said, four inches, so, I mean, yeah, so, as you can see, I mean, it barely even covers the, um, the mechanism, like, six inch bells, eight inch or ten inch bells do, you know, so, yeah, like I said, that's about it, that's the device, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, 2901 uh, hope you guys enjoyed your boy, Black Lightning 4547, and mouth is John. Take care and have a good one.